Yeah. I'm talking about real life popping a little. My skin is doing such a good job. I still have like a few dark marks over here. But it's doing much better than it was three weeks ago. Maybe four weeks ago. Who knows. But um, because I was looking at my installation video. And I was looking in the mirror like. Like is this, is this real life? Or is my camera trying to play me? Like let me know what's up. But it was real life sadly. But um, yeah, so I started using tea tree oil to even my skin out and calm my skin down. My skin was on a fucking hiatus, honey. It was like, my skin was on one, okay? That's all we gonna say. But for that reason, I did not want to, even though I don't really mind like showing my flaws or you know anything like that, of course, because if I mind, I would have wore a full face during that um, installation, let's be honest. But I didn't want to give like a video where it's like, hey skin, how you doing? You know what I mean? I didn't want to, I didn't want to do that until I felt a little bit more secure about my skin. So right now this is how my skin is looking. It is predominantly clear. I do have a few dark marks or whatever. So yeah, um, that's, that's pretty much all I got. So video now, that's cool. So firstly, excuse my freaking lip. I bit my lip right before this video eating an orange. The same orange I was smacking on when I was telling you about my skin. But anyways, so I'm using the MYX Eyebrow Gel, Tinted Eyebrow Gel. Um, I used to use this all the time. It's been a while since I've used it. And you can tell because my, my hand is not as sturdy as it used to be. I actually use the MYX Eyebrow Pencil now, but I couldn't find that. So this was an alternative. But I believe in the mess up to clean up process. So, you know, it's okay. I fill them in um, as best as possible. I have pretty thick eyebrows. This is actually after I groomed them just a tad. But um, since it's been so long, it's a little harder to draw them on as easily as I used to because you don't have as much control as you would with the pencil. But it's definitely easy to clean it up, uh, you know, with simple concealer. Okay, so my eyebrows are definitely cousins. Like, they're not sisters, they're not twins. Honey, they are cousins, okay? Distant cousins sometimes. Uh, my, in this video, my left eyebrow has an arch. My right eyebrow does not. I usually spend a lot more time on them to make sure they look more identical, but I planned on wearing a swoop bang in my face anyways. So I said, well, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna show off the better eyebrow. So, yeah.
so I actually went back in with that gorgeous bronzy um, glitter eyeshadow only because the brown that I initially put on was a little darker than I expected so I wanted to smoke it out just a little bit but I also wanted to add that glitter back into there to kind of melt them together you know little marriage of glitter you know Okay, recording and trying to do eyeliner is crazy hard, especially with the position that I was in. So I went in with my Kat Von D tattoo, well, like it tattoo liner i guess you can say and i actually went over that with my nyx liquid eyeliner uh, to darken it up and then i did my lashes off camera we all know why that crap takes long for me it does for me <laughs>
So one thing new that I used in this video was the Instant Age Rewind Concealer by Maybelline. And I used a little too much around my mouth. I didn't realize that a little does definitely go a long way. I like the product. I really like the highlight that it gave me. However, I felt as though it was putting a cast around my mouth. So I went back into my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Kit back into that middle shade uh, to dim it down some and to blend it in. And then I went back over my contour with the darkest shade, the Sculpt shade. I usually don't use that, but I used it for this video because I felt like I needed to darken everything up just a tad.